Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Polika Popicha, I'm a teacher and uh, in this section I'm going to teach you how to uh, do your, submit your um, uh, returns, a KRA has just announced and um, people are supposed to submit their returns for the year 2017 and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it, you can do it using your school laptop, you can use, you, use your own laptop and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, before you submit um, carry ITAX, there are some things which you must have. One of them is a P9 form, like this one. It's a P9 form. A P9 form which will show uh, all the things which are supposed to be filled. Uh, for a teacher, this one uh, will have these details. For P1 teacher, for any teacher will have this. Subtotals. We have the taxable pay, we have a pension, we have a pay, a pay auto, we have all these details here. So I'm going to use this one to show you how to submit your returns. And uh, these are the details which is required. So this a P9 form, an example of P9 form. And nowadays TSC has made it easier. We no longer have manual P9 forms. So you're just going to log into your payslip and you get this one. Or you can uh, print it or uh, you can even choose to, uh, to to take a screenshot like this one i took a screenshot of my p9 form which i can use to submit my return uh, the other thing that is required is this form of this form here uh, this form uh, is an uh, individual resident return and this form is new and um, you must have this form for you to be able to submit your return i show you how you do it is if you don't know how to get this form, you can follow the link on your uh, on the screen, and you'll be able to download the form direct from that link. Follow the link that is shown on the screen from our website, which is arena the co the ke. I uh, follow that link, you'll be able to download the form. This form is there. It is just written KRA iTax form. Go there and you download it. You love this form. This form is a must for you to be able to submit your return. Now. For you to be able to submit your return, you must make sure that your computer is installed with Microsoft Office packages. So Microsoft Office, Office packages must be there. So this is Excel sheet which uh, you are going to use to submit your return. So let me open this form here so that you can see what is happening. Now when you open this form, you will find that you will be required to do certain things required to do certain things you might get something like this security warning macros are not be, have been disabled enable content click enable content click enable content if you don't get something like that don't worry then you can click here please not cut and paste anybody in the workbook click ok then the sheet will be ready it has several pages we have this area here which directs you. For example, if you open this sheet and you get a problem that uh, micro uh, macro is, is not enabled, you're supposed to follow this procedure here to enable macro. So you're going to click file to enable macro. If it is not enabled, you must enable macro. This form is macro enabled. So you must enable macro for you to be able to work with this form. To do that, you click on a file, then you go to, you, you go to, after clicking file, uh, you go to options here, you click options, okay, then after that you go to trust center, you click trust center, okay, you go to trust center settings here, you go to click trust center settings, trust center settings, click that one, then from there you can see macro settings, which is here, click macro settings, then enable all macros click enable all macros you click enable all macros and then you click ok then click ok and you close the procedure is here as you can see this for excel 2010 and above uh, so this is the procedure if if it's not uh, if your computer is not uh, uh, macro enabled you follow this procedure here it's easy so we have this page here we have uh, this page we have this page we have this page we have these are pages okay what is the pages as you can see 
uh, this is the final page so after this page which is for enable macro we have this page here which will show errors in case you are feeling and you have errors we showed all the errors this is the basic info page we should have basic information which are going to fill then uh, we have uh, employment income we are going to fill all the uh, details here uh, for the for the income uh, here continue At the next page here we also have details yet to be filled the same with here and this is the final one so for to be able to submit your itax return this form is a must you must have this form there's no option there's no shortcut this is a form which you must have so i'm going to show you what you're supposed to do here the first thing you're supposed to do here you are supposed to make sure that you have your p9 form okay then you click basic info go on to this page here basic info here you enter your your pin so let me minimize this there is a, sorry i go to my p9 form here okay so your pin is here your pin is here so i go and take my pin there so I come here i type my pin here which is a 006 839 582v so this is my pin I type is original here there's a drop down menu here where you can select and make sure it's original not amended it's original make sure it's original then here do you have any income at the employment income just say no if you have you can say yes do you have partnership income no my is no do you have a mortgage yes and so on so fill these details here as you can see return period make sure it is 0 01 0 01 2017 to 31st of december 2017 that's the return period okay yeah so this is the period where, where we are declaring our return a final return then uh, make sure you read the, the other details here if it's necessary you fill okay if it's necessary you fill and you see what's happening so after that i will click next to go to the next page or i can click here here you are required to enter a pin of employer uh, employer is teacher service commission uh, this is the pin for my employer teacher service commission you come here and you type the pin okay yeah you come here you type the name of your employer type the name of your employer you come here now the gross pay what's the gross pay the gross pay uh this is a little now supposed to fit. the gross pay is the subtotals you go to your p9 form here and you get the subtotals which is 300 and uh, 37,726 this now is where you're going to fill in the gross pay this one we're going to fill in the gross pay so i come to the gross pay here and uh, I feel 300 and that's 7 mm, 706 okay allowance and benefits 00 put everything 00 put everything 00, zero. pension if in excess I put zero, 00 so this gross pay is the subtotals this is the subtotals which is here the subtotals which is here okay yeah so after that after that um, you click next click next here there's nothing to fill here so you click next taxable salary it's here again which is the type of subtotals again taxable salary which is here which is the subtotals again so you're going to to put a taxable pay which is the subtotals I will pay this one so come here and search your tax will pay three three seven uh, comma 
726 726 okay tax payable on taxable salary this one is this one here okay this one here 32448 32448 32448 mm, 80 cents I come here also see the same thing which is down here so you can see that this one and this one they resemble okay this one and this one here they resemble the two these two resemble this one and this one they resemble this and this they resemble so make sure that you you you, you just put the same thing here repeat the same thing here which is going to be 32 again that thousand four hundred and forty eight and eighty cents okay so tax for salary the same thing with the subtotals just like the gross pay is the same thing this one and this one is going to be equal they're just supposed to be the same then click next and uh, here just skip this it is not important and click next now this is the final page here you must make sure that a uh, pension contribution is zero zero point zero zero Make sure the pension contribution is 0, 0 0.00. Here, make sure it's 15,360 because, as you can see here, this one changed. This year is 15,360 MPR value, 15,360, which you must, you must, must make sure that it is here. Three ten years, the personal relief, 15,360. Then, other details, just make sure they're 00. zero. Okay, then uh, the last step is click validate click validate after filling all those details click validate uh, just check here tax due or refund due it is going to be 0 0.20 just click validate click validate and give it time click validate and give it time now what is happening here um, it is going to change this one into a zip it's going to change this one into a zip uh, you see what is happening uh, which will make it make it easier for you to upload it to um, a KRA website so that you'll be able to to get your yeah, your submit your return you'll be able to submit your return easily so what is happening here it is converting it into a zip it's converting it into a zip so make sure that you, uh, you you fill the details correctly until the final step which is this one the fin the fun uh, waiting the final step uh, you're going to get a zip a zip to a zip to folder see what is happening here generate upload file sheets are ready to be uploaded do you want to generate upload file click yes so I click yes what happens you find the zip file here so this is the location where my zip file is this is a zip file this is a zip file okay this is a zip file so the location is in a uh, in the documents it is there in the documents so i click ok ok so what has happened this file it has just made a zip file which i'm supposed to upload in kra website for my for me to be able to complete the process of submitting my return so i come here and click this one and close just close i want to save your changes you can just save if you wish if no if you don't wish then save no problem so I close this window and uh, I go to check where my zipped file has been saved so that I can be able to upload it in a TRA website to complete my return submission. So it's taking time but it will close, don't worry. Yeah, it has closed. I close this my P9 form also. So where do we, where is, after creating the zip file, where is this saved? In documents. So I double click computer, then click documents. You'll find it here, okay? So anytime you 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 you, you, you anytime you you finish filling the form, okay, the carrier tax form for your return, what happens? It creates what we call a zip file. A zip file, which means it is just a, a different type of file, which is easier for you to be able to 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 to, to upload, okay? So it is going to be saved in 
this location documents okay so it is this one this is the file now you see it is it even has the time when it was created the date the time everything even the carry carry pin okay the carry pin for for the person so this is the file so what i will do with this file i'll show you what you're going to do with this file because now we are in the final stage so the final stage what are you going to do now after after creating a zip file the next thing that you're supposed to do is to open a browser and upload the zip file okay you open your browser and upload the zip file so let's see what you're going to do about it a browser here i have firefox i have google chrome okay you can have internet explorer 8 internet explorer 10 and so on you can have opera browser and so on but me i i, I like using chrome i like chrome so much I, 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 I love this browser it's okay it's good for me so i double click this one to open so i open my browser here and after opening my browser what do i do you got the url here you got the url here and the type um itax sorry type itax dot kra dot geo dot ke see here itax dot kra dot geo dot ke this is the link which will take you to uh, the site where you're going to upload your um, your zip file so just type that and the press enter on your keyboard to take you to this enter pin for user id this is the kra pin you're supposed to enter the kra pin your kra pin which mine is a 006-839-582-582 then V so enter pin this is the KRA pin your KRA pin you enter your KRA pin then after doing this this you you click continue come here and click continue click just click continue what does it do it will take you to something like this where you're supposed to enter your password Make sure that your password is the password which you are given when you first uh, uh, open your uh, KRA ITAX. Whoever did it for you, the ITAX, they have your KRA pin, they have your password. So make sure that you get those details because once it is done for the first time, you must have a password. Okay? Otherwise, you can't do anything without this because you must have a KRA pin and a password. If you don't have a password, you can use your email to recover it if it was used. Uh, otherwise, after entering your PIN and clicking continue, it will take you to this as a to your password and do some bit of arithmetic. So security stamp, you must do this calculation here and put the results here. What is 83 minus 9? I'm not good in maths. Uh, 83 minus 9. Gaifafa. What's this? 83 minus 9. Someone to help me. Mm. 83 minus 3 here. You get 6. 74. Yeah, it's 74. Sorry. I'm not good in maths. I'm not good in maths. I'm sorry about that. So I ent I, I type 74 and uh, click login. If you get a message like this one, just close. No problem. So after entering the right the right password and doing the arithmetic there, and then you 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 will be taken to this site. Okay. So where do I where do I go now to submit uh, my return? Because I told you we have done the calculations. What you're supposed to do now is to make sure that we submit the zip file for us to be able to complete. Uh, 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 registration. I mean, submitting our return. Uh, that, that's what we are, we are doing here. So, what I'm going to do here, just here, and you can come here and click return. Okay. File return. You can click file return here, or you can just click here. E return. Okay. Just the same thing. Okay. You can click E return, or you can come here and click file return. So come here click file return from return get drop them drop, drop the menu okay don't choose any of this just choose this one file return and you click file return it will take to this it will take to this what type of return is this this one is supposed to be a safe return it is a safe return 
a text pin there's a text pin is already there because you're, you're logged in and the text obligation is supposed to be individual so come here and you choose uh, income tax resident individual yeah income tax resident individual this good one for, for, for civil servants teachers and so on so after doing that click next just click next after clicking next what happens it will take you to something like this okay yeah it takes you something like this so what are we supposed to do here I just come down here look here choose file upload form okay look this section here very well the return period is for 01 01 2017 return period to 31st 12 2017 this is the return period which we have just created the, the zip file now we are just supposed to upload the zip file okay so you come here upload upload form you come here and you click choose file click this it will open this thing here where you're supposed to locate your form and upload it so mine where is it saved it is saved in documents so i come and click click documents and uh, i go down here i'll find my zip file which is this one okay you can click once then click open you can or you can double click it so i click once and then i click open okay it is here now can you see this is the file now i've chosen the file and it is here now now i want to submit it but you can submit it after, but until you agree to the terms and conditions the disclaimer you can read all these things here if you wish i'm too lazy to read I'm too lazy, too lazy to read this all these things so what i do i just click here agree so i click agree and what next you click submit just click submit do you want to upload the form click ok ok what happens it's uploaded yeah return receipt generated return submitted successfully with the uploading number this this if you get this one know that you are good to go so i close this small window here what do i do download the returns receipt you must download your receipt this is the receipt so click download the returns receipt to download the receipt so i click this one it will download my receipt which is here it's downloaded this is the receipt here so if i double click it to open you see this is my receipt now okay this is my receipt here so this is chango mulwa okay my details everything this is my receipt i've submitted my return and I'm, I'm good to go it's okay it's as easy as that i don't know why teachers are getting problems you run up and down in a cyber and what what people are eating your money for nothing i just use 20 bob here and i'll finish my work you have school laptops what have they been used for watching movies don't make me laugh you can't use a laptop to watch movies you must do do do, do all those things you're supposed to do in your school cheaper everything even including this one you're supposed to do it you're just watching movie and listen to, to music you have a tv at your home you can do that now this day the technology is it okay so this technology is it which shows that you have finished submitting your return okay so i close this window and I finish. I've submitted my return. I have my receipt downloaded. I come here to download. I get this receipt. It's written receipt. This one. I close my receipt. It shows that I have successfully submitted my return, and this is the evidence which I get, which is a, a return acknowledging the receipt. Just evidence to show that I'm true with this. Okay. So I don't have to worry. You don't have to. I don't have to worry because I'm, I'm done. Just learn about this. So, guys, I just wanted to teach you teachers to do this thing for yourself instead of running up and down, giving people money. For you, 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 you have better things to do with the money rather than give it to people. Otherwise, I'm through. If you got any query, please contact us. Our number is there. Our website is there. Our email is there. Just contact us. Shall help you. That is of Teachers Arena. I'm Paul Kabo Picha. I say thank you. See you next time.